Hey guys, welcome back. Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. I want to make a quick little video here. I guess you could call this a firearms fact. It's sort of a really super short one. Uh, I kind of made an observation while we were out here shooting uh, earlier. Of course, you can see it's quite wet out here. It's very sloshy here on the range. And we noticed when we were shooting, you could really see those jacket spalling coming through here on the ground and in the water. And we thought this would be a great way to demonstrate and talk about the safety uh, considerations of steel, right? I know a lot of folks are getting into shooting. A lot of folks are picking up steel for the first time. Maybe you got a little bit of land and you're wanting to set up a little shooting range or whatever. There's a few things to consider that I just want to kind of pass along just from our experience. Um, real quick, very easy, okay? You want to make sure you're always shooting your steel face on, straight on. Do not shoot steel at angles. It can cause, you know, especially subsonic and slow moving projectiles and buckshot to you know, whiz off into random directions and things. So you always want to make sure you're shooting your steel straight on. Always follow the recommended distance guidelines from your steel manufacturer as to what distances it's safe to shoot uh, and with which calibers, okay? They do make short range rifle targets that have a bit of an angle to help deflect those bullets downward. Now, jacket spalling is, so when that projectile hits the steel, it breaks apart into little pieces. When you see something hit the steel real slow, you'll see this, jacket material, lead, everything that makes that projectile breaks into little pieces and flies in every direction. And I want to use our nasty wet environment here to demonstrate, you know, just how far that spalling can get out. That's why it's always important to wear eye pro and ear pro and everything like that. You want to protect your face because shooting steel does have um, inherent risks that are involved, right? Spalling is a, a something to consider. And you also want to make sure that the right and left of your target doesn't have anything uh, near it that can catch any of that spalling. And I'm ab about to demonstrate to y'all how far that spalling can get out. We noticed on our 10 inch round back here that we had already caught a ton of spalling down in the dirt and you could see it for a long way, especially a range that's had a lot of round shot at one particular target. You'll see a line cut from all of the spalling. And sometimes that spalling can get out several feet to the left and right of the edge of the target. So. Let's back off. I'm going to demonstrate what that looks like uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a reference, okay? Now, this particular steel is from shootsteel.com. We've been using their plates for quite a long time. You notice that the way this particular one is mounted, it actually has a spring-loaded uh, sort of plunger that attaches to the top of the stud and a protection plate so you don't shoot your wood up and everything like that. But that also allows the steel to ring louder. That's one benefit. And what that uh, spring allows it to do is when it gets hit, it sort of does this number. It moves back just a little bit, just enough so that that, that spalling will go down and not up. So that's another consideration for steel. Make sure that the angle of the steel is proper, that it's at a complete one-to-one -one face, uh, right even with you. Don't mount your steel where it's doing this, right? You don't want it angled back. That projectile or that spalling could go up in the air. You don't want that. You want it to angle forward a bit so when the projectiles hit, the, the spalling goes down. I'm going to demonstrate that. All right, I'm a safe distance away. I've got a Ruger PC charger here. This is 124 grain, 9 millimeter ammunition. I'm going to shoot towards the lower end to sort of just, you know, really show and, and exaggerate the effect of the spalling, okay? We're going to lob some rounds in. All out, look at all that spalling. See how it's splashing down in the water? Wanted to make this quick video just sort of as a service, because I know there's a lot of folks that are new to shooting. A lot of folks are setting up first time range and everything like that. Want to make sure that everybody understands the inherent risks and safety considerations of shooting steel. So there you go. Uh, hopefully that'll help some of you. Have yourselves a great day. Make sure you click that notification bell, subscribe, check out our videos. If you found this video informative, Go over to Ballistic Inc., pick yourself up a snazzy t-shirt. That's one way you can support our efforts. And uh, yeah, set up a range, have fun. Steel is fun. Don't be intimidated by it, but understand there are safety considerations. Have a good one.